St. Xavier's College Ahmedabad has become the first college in Gujarat to have been accredited five stars by NEC. Recently, the college notched another laurel by becoming the only institute in the state to secure a place in the National Institutional Ranking Framework, that is NIRF. Established in 1955, this college offers undergraduate programs in arts, humanities, science, computer science, and commerce. Today, we will talk to Father Lancy de Cruz along with professors and students of this college to identify what makes education at St. Xavier's special. Father Lancy, first of all, welcome to Vibes of India and many congratulations on St. Xavier's securing a rank in the NIRF ranking. So, what do you think are the parameters on which St. Xavier's really stands out? Thank you very much uh, for the for the best wishes and the appreciation, I think uh, it goes a long way in helping us to to do better. Uh, the NRF rankings uh, are uh, national rankings, and uh, as you know, this is in the college of uh, in the category of colleges. So, 52nd in the top 100 colleges, and uh, uh, surprisingly, we are the only one from Gujarat. So, sort of. Uh, uh, I think that raises some concern, yeah, okay. Uh, there are parameters on which uh, we have done very well, actually, you know, uh, you get the maximum number of, uh, of uh, marks, for example, in examination system uh, and, uh, well, I suppose being an autonomous college, we have a very robust examination system in place. Uh, it has been appreciated even by the NAC and in other, in other evaluations. And so that is one area where we have we have the maximum number of points. There are a couple of other areas as well where we have a maximum number of points. Um, if you ask, yeah, the NAC accreditation was also a very good score because uh, Gujarat has actually only five autonomous colleges and we are the only autonomous college from Gujarat which has an A plus grade. So 3.27 uh, which uh, is uh, A plus. And uh, there, I think it's a very good report uh, because there are seven criteria and uh, uh, five out of the seven criteria, the score is above 3.5, five of the criteria. So it is actually two criteria, one is research and the other one is uh, uh, this type of thing where, where we have to sort of work on student progression. That is another area where we have to work on. So st uh, more career oriented courses, more skill training for students more skill training for students, more preparation for maybe net sled and other exam, that type of thing. And so they, but here the, the very large percentage of students actually wants to go for higher study. They want to go for PG, they want to go further. So that is something we will have to, and NAC has asked us to sort of work on, yeah. So it is a very uh, good report. I think they have appreciated the college for its diversity. Uh, that's why I said that point last year, the way the diversity in the NIRF is, length is a little surprising, but it has to do with COVID. And also for the fact that our courses are priced at a much lower rate, even the self-finance course than other universities, so that, you know, students of a lower economic strata can actually get admission and do well. That is the, the, the thing. So, uh, then the facilities that are there, I think the, the way in which uh, the, the college takes care of different groups of students, so minority students, SC students, ST students, there's a Jagrat cell, uh, Utkarsh for the hand, phys physically challenged students. So you have all this type of uh, uh, type of cons care for the different type of persons. Um, I think we are uh, we have uh, we have uh, we are proud of being a very inclusive college. So in everything that we do to be inclusive, also to aim at excellence. So you may take in students from a, you know, from a, from a difficult socio-economic uh, unprivileged sort of background, so-called unprivileged, but, but then to help them to move towards the top, to move towards excellence, you know, not only in studies, but in sports in you know, uh, in other activities as well. So the all-round development of the student, that is uh, important, the all-round growth of the person. And then to grow up as one who understands that he has some sense of responsibility towards society, to building a better society, yeah. You have to work at it. So I, I don't think it is something that we can sort of take for granted, but it's something that we have to work at consistently, consciously, through the courses that we have, through the programs that we have, 
you know the cultural committee the we have a cell for campus ministry so through all these groups we have to uh, sort of consciously make an effort to you know the orientation that we have for our students a conscious effort to uh, to help students to understand because there's so much of messaging that takes place from outside okay which has to be uh, the experience of students has to be different so even within the class that they learn to work in teams they learn to make presentation they learn to do assignments together the nss yeah yeah inclusiveness and there are issues which we have to address by working together hi i am father sunil mcwan sg assistant professor of english here at sinzevis college ahmedabad if i am to summarize jesuit education in four words these will be competence conscience compassion and commitment a jesuit student that is any zavierite or any other student studying in a jesuit education institution should first of all be competent in whatever they do in their studies in their experiments in their research and that is what makes them excellent students but that's not enough while we do emphasize competence in studies we also want them to be conscious that is conscientious uh, citizens of this country and conscientious human beings who take decisions uh, with uh, moral uh, awareness of what is right of what is uh, wrong and how and why they need to take a stand on certain issues especially issues of social justice and equality and that is what uh, makes them uh, conscientious uh, students the third c that goes along with the other two is compassion our students alongside being intellectually sharp and morally upright also need to be compassionate because if they are not compassionate they are not going to feel for others especially the marginalized the poor the abandoned and the victims of injustice so by insisting or by helping them to become compassionate they show that concern for others which uh, a good education enables them to and finally after all these they also need to show some commitment that is they not only use their education and knowledge for themselves and to further their careers but also to contribute to the society through actual and long lasting commitment they commit themselves to serve others they commit themselves to make this uh, nation a better place and they commit themselves to stand for truth and justice and that is how by by accepting these four c's in their lives they become competent they become conscientious they become compassionate and in the end they become committed and that is how they also become a whole human person something that we insist in a jesuit education uh, this is dr sheetal doshi from the department of biochemistry and biotechnology uh, the special thing about the uh, sensevius college the education that it imparts uh, for the student is uh, one thing i would like to say is uh, the way uh, we allow the undergraduate students to go through a research an entire one year research program Uh, research at St. Xavier's College is always of a pri uh, of a prime importance. Uh, when I talked about the research, it is not just that it is in the field of a science. We uh, the research is something which is also emphasized in humanities, in commerce, in computer science, obviously. Uh, so the what happens is the students uh, they are allowed to choose the area of the research by themselves. Uh, we generally conduct a kind of an entrance entrance test and from every faculty or from every subject we allow 10 students to undergo a uh, thorough research so they uh, go through the entire process of proposing a project building a hypothesis uh, proposing a methodology then conducting the experiments and at the end of the year compiling the entire research in the form of a thesis 
they are also gets the opportunity to present their research at various national and international conferences through the posters and the oral presentation at the end of the year a student is chosen to be uh, they are given uh, awards uh, for the research program and a certificate uh, there are many students who have uh, really found this entire journey uh, very exciting that has become the basis for them uh, selecting their career as a researcher uh, there are many examples in which the students are selected in a very good universities abroad because of their thesis uh, the research is not just uh, like uh, every time proposing a wet experiments or doing the experiments in lab like in case of a psychology there are students uh, driven research project in which they have studied the importance of uh, viewing certain cartoons and their impact on their psychology in case of a sanskrit uh, students have explored the dalit literature uh, because sanskrit is a kind of an ancient language and we always believe that it is the rushi munis and the uh, sanyasis who have written the text but it is not always the cases even in their uh, those ancient times there are dalit literature so students have kind of explored those areas uh, students have also explored the areas of a feminism through the research so it is it has really widened their uh, scope uh, they have started looking at the life with a different angle so it's not just for the career but it is also for the uh, viewing the life in a different manner and that is what the research at st xavier's college it kind of enable the students empower the students uh, thank you so hi uh, this is professor pinky desai and my association with this college is now for more than 35 years first as a student and then as a teacher here so if you ask me about uh, what is special about this campus or in this college i would like to say that we actually focus on the ignatian pedagogy while recruiting uh, teachers at the same time while admitting students so of course academic excellence is a prerequisite is a necessary condition we don't compromise on the necessary condition but the sufficient condition is that the person should fit into our pedagogy and our uh, ignatian pedagogy paradigm that is about an objective thinking about compassion about uh, being a multitasker about participating in various activities about learning through the process so we have many activities in the campus and through which students learn teamwork they fight and they heal themselves they learn to cooperate and there are so many activities that every student gets a chance to participate in something or the other if he or she really wants to do something different we have festivals we have cultural festivals the departmental festivals we have sports activities we have research activities in the campus we have so many projects field works excursions so students have a lot of scope to do whatever pleases them whatever they want to do and ultimately it cre we create a holistic person a person who is able to understand the world better so when people ask us what is so special about zavia students that they express themselves so well it's all about the activities that they have taken part in it's about the leadership roles that they have played doesn't matter at a smaller scale in a classroom activity but we allow them to do that at the same time we focus on how they study their subject how they grow in their subject so that is it i am dr malika sanyal from st xavier's college ahmedabad i am currently serving as the vice principal science and the internal quality assurance coordinator for the college i also have the good fortune to be the first lady vice principal in the history of st xavier's college and as a result i know that a lot of responsibility rests on my shoulders now what makes st xavier's college unique plenty of things but but if i were to focus on one point i would be that it is this college which makes good quality education 
affordable for everyone. Here, we give a chance to the first generation learner, maybe he is an Adivasi from the Dang or the tribal areas, to the person who is a son of a multimillionaire businessman. When they enter the college, it is equal for everyone. This chance of education and this process of leading them to excellence is the same that every student of St. Xavier's College can get here in the campus. Also, since it's very affordable education, I believe we play a major role in helping India to find its citizens, the right kind of citizens which will take India to the next level as we all hope for in the next century. Hello, I am Avner Parmar. I did my BSc in Zoology last year, that is 2021. So what makes Xavier's different from other colleges? The people, how they live here, like as you can see, around everyone is living together and it's not like other colleges, how that everything is so far. Well, here you study in this or that, everybody is gonna come talk to you it's not like like you guys came to us and we are speaking while if you go to other college they are like hesitated or not talk to you or they might just run away well here everybody is open different activities are going on like when i was when i used to study here there were lots of activities like girl fest youth fest as you know this year the youth fest is again coming so let's hope it's going to be great and what makes Xavier's different is the all the sports it's gonna be the spirit of the sports and the activities like it's not just studies you guys do here it's lots of sports music drama everything like every Xavierite has one skill and that's it that makes everybody different from the Xavier's <laughs> yeah thank you